So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today, we once again have another theory for you. And this one is in fact a fan theory, which was submitted by Nuclear Bot. So, thank you very much for your submission. But, before we jump into this theory, we just have a quick announcement to make in regards to me and other Ryan. And that is the fact that we both have individual gaming channels. Yeah, we've actually decided to open two separate gaming channels, which we're going to run alongside the main channel. Now, the main reason for this is because, of course, not all games you can play as a co-op. And also, me and Ryan want to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, and uh, we've made quite a lot of videos actually talking about this recently, but we just want to make sure all of you guys are aware that me and Ryan have our own separate channels. Basically, the reason why we've open these channels is because not all games on the internet which are indie based can actually be played as co-op and sometimes they're more fun to play on your own and also this way we can upload kind of personal vlogs things like that so hopefully you guys do check them out the links will be on screen of course as you're watching this and yeah we're gonna jump straight onto this theory now so nuclear bots theory is basically that there is two purple guys and they both have different colors one is very violet and the other is very deep purple and in scott games in the source code we can see hashtag ee 82 EE, which represents the colour violet. Yeah, the other guy's kind of like more more of a violet colour, I suppose you could say. And uh, another interesting point, which actually makes me think that there is two of these purple guys, is one, the fact that the purple guy we actually addresses the purple guy with the badge seems to have white eyes. Now, and the second thing is that he is also very tall, and in comparison to this violet coloured guy, he's actually very small. He's also he's almost like a bit more stocky, isn't he? Like he's definitely got a different build to this yeah, purple guy definitely yeah so it seems like there seems there seems to be two different versions of this killer now many people could say that maybe though just after the teaser trailer was released for five nights of freddy's three there was a post from scott saying he always does which was in the title and it was in this kind of violety purple color Many people could just say, you know, he obviously just left it in from that announcement, but what if in fact he's just leaving us a very cryptic message about this Violet guy? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good point to raise, actually. So Nuclearbot goes on to say that what if another game is released from the perspective of this Violet guy? If we were to speculate that there are two purple guys, then what about the perspective of this Violet guy? Because we don't actually know about Golden Freddy, so what if he played a role as Golden Freddy, maybe? Quite possibly, yeah. We don't actually know a lot of backstory about this second purple guy. There seems to be a lot more of involvement with the uh, the purple guy with the white eyes, doesn't there? It seems to be... He's definitely entwined with him Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yeah, it, do, like, yeah. it doesn't make sense when we see this violet guy, because in the mini games that we see him in, it's like, it doesn't make sense what's going on. Who is he? Why is he doing this? You know, there's so many questions that are unanswered, and that's why I highly believe there'll be a Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yeah, especially in the Foxy minigame with Five Nights at Freddy's 2, he's very kind of... He looks very spaced out, doesn't he? He's definitely got different characteristics to this purple guy. So it, it definitely leads me to think that... the this guy is definitely different. I mean, why would they differ so much? It's kind of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's like, um, Two different yeah, perspectives. definitely. And this actually also led on to another interesting way of thinking. Now, of course, the phone guy actually states that there were two suits with the ability to have the crank. Uh, in other words, there would be like a spring bonnie. And in one of the actual good, e the mini games of which you have to play to get the good ending, there seems to be some kind of golden Freddy, which uh, we're actually going to regard it as spring Freddy. Now, of course, if there is two animatronics that need to be controlled manually, there is a high chance that this second animatronic was also being controlled by someone else. Now, what about if this violet guy was actually controlling the purple Freddy? Uh, excuse me, not the purple Freddy, the uh, golden Freddy character that we see in these minigames. And I think another point which actually backs this up and actually just crossed my mind is that, for example, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the purple guy is very tall and, as I say, he's very thin, much like the build of Springtrap. And the other guy is actually a lot smaller. He seems to have broader shoulders, almost like the build of the uh, the golden Spring uh, Freddy character that we see in the minigame. Yeah, definitely, actually. Yeah, he's a lot more stocky, like you say. The Violet Guy and Golden Freddy, they actually, uh, Spring Freddy, should I say, I keep calling him Golden Freddy, that might confuse a few people. Yeah. We don't actually know a great deal about him, which actually might link up, because if I was to ask you that question alongside about this Violet Guy, we don't actually know a lot about either of these guys. So, does that mean that the, these guys have some kind of connection together? And that's the reason why we don't know much about either of them. Yeah, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, obviously, we're, tell we're being told the story of this supposedly deep purple, purple guy, you could say, who plays a spring trap. Yeah. Now, if there is, I mean, and that is only if, there is two purple yes. guys then there yep. must be another story that we need to uncover of course yeah because there's been a lot of uh, well should i say most of the speculation about the purple guys actually in regards to this guy holding the phone isn't it 
Yes, definitely. Yeah, it seems like the other guy's kind of taking a backseat, and a lot of people have almost forgotten about him. I mean, maybe they haven't, but maybe they forgot to include him in a lot of the theoretical thinking they've been doing in regards to the Five Nights at Freddy's storyline. Uh, basically, Nuclear Bot was going on to say that maybe another trilogy of games, but I'd have to disagree, because although I agree with the yeah. theory of, you know, maybe a fourth game coming out from the perspective of this guy, I think another three yeah. games would be very hard for Scott to pull off, most definitely. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, we know the kind of Five Nights at Freddy's franchise the story is starting to piece together and i think if a fourth installment was to actually come our way it might actually close kind of everything we have to answer and it might be kind of like the uh, you know the ultimatum the I finale mean. i suppose you could you could call it yeah and i think um i think any more games we wouldn't it wouldn't be as really that necessary would it we don't really need an, a whole lot more information but uh i think uh, even re in regards to this even though the story was closed there'll still be a heck of a lot of theories going around about you know some of the characters because there's no way scott is going to answer all these questions he still wants us to do a lot of thinking yeah definitely i mean there's so many questions unanswered like bite of 87 who is golden oh, freddy yeah. why is there a spare third suit the purple freddy you know shadow freddy yeah. that we know him of it's oh, just we know so little, yeah. yeah and you know scott's just there like you know <laughs> just just chilling not not doing anything <laughs> like, so yeah happy, keep yeah. trying to figure it out <sighs> yeah it, it just made you think though because you know the whole community is starting to uncover the actual storyline, but there's still so much more we need to find out about. I mean, there's so much we don't know still, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Which is, and I think we need to look back and probably focus on those things we don't know. And series like this, which actually, they kind of bring up this and they make you rethink the past. And it really does, uh, it kind of entwines it all together and it really helps you piece together events which actually occur in the later games too. Yes. So, alright then guys, that's about all we can uncover on this theory so far. Thank you once again for your submission, Nuclear Bot. It was a great theory. It's very interesting to look at that small little snippet of code, and we actually uncovered quite a lot of information within the game, so it makes you think two are actually connected. But yeah guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to leave any comments down below on what you think about this theory, or anything you feel you may be able to add to it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video guys, and we hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?